The DevExpress Web Chart Control provides two data binding approaches, manual series creation where each series is explicitly added to the chart's collection, and automatic series creation. In this video, we'll explore option two, dynamically creating a series based on the template settings that can be accessed via the webchartcontrol.seriesTemplate property. From the toolbox, drop the web chart control onto the form. Next, click the chart smart tag to invoke its actions list. Then, open the drop down list for the choose data source item and click the new data source link. The data source configuration wizard will appear. Choose the SQL database type and click OK. On the wizard's next page, click new connection. In the invoked add connection dialog, let's specify the Microsoft Access database file as the database type in the data source field. In the database file name field, I specify the path to the GSP database file and leave the password option blank. I'll click OK to close the dialog. To proceed, click Next. On the Save the Connection string to the Application Configuration File window, I click Next. On the wizard's last page, I test the database connection by clicking Test Query. To accomplish data source creation, click Finish. Now the SQL Data Source 1 object is assigned to the chart. To specify the data field that should provide data for the series names, I set the WebChartControl.SeriesDataMember property to Year. I need to adjust a series template accessed via the WebChartControl.SeriesTemplate property. Then I set the SeriesBase.ArgumentDataMember property to Region and the value for the SeriesBase.ValueDataMembersCollectionsOnly member to GSP. To see how the resulting chart will finally look at design time, I click its smart tag and in its actions list, click populate. This will redraw the chart using the obtained data. Finally, let's run the application. And as you can see, the chart loads the desired data automatically from the database. And that's it. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.